Alright guys, in this particular problem we are dealing with a geometry problem and we're asked to find the missing value of x. So it says in the figure below lines m and n are parallel. What is the value of x? So we can see here that we have this figure below. We know that lines m and n, those are going to be parallel and they want us to find what is the missing value of x here. So we have to go back to our definition of alternate interior angles and we know that alternate interior angles are formed when a transversal passes through two lines right which we have here so we know that okay this angle here and this angle here those are going to be alternate interior angles and to take it a step further since these lines are parallel m and m we know that these alternate interior angles are going to be equal okay so Keep that in mind as we go ahead and solve this problem. We also know the following. If we were to add up these two angles right here, their total is going to be equal to 180. All right, so if I want to find this missing angle here, how could I find that? Well, if I just simply take 180 and I subtract from what this angle is, I'm going to be left with this angle here. So for example, if I have the following, if I have 180, minus, right, this whole angle here, which is 3x minus 2. So we're going to put that in parentheses, 3x minus 2. All right, we want to determine what that's going to be. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to get 180 minus 3x. Again, we're just distributing this negative sign, and then plus 2. Let's go ahead and just combine our like terms here. So we have 180 and 2, so that's going to give us 182 minus 3x. Okay, so now we have what this angle is here. It's 182 minus 3x, right? And this would be right degrees. So at this point, I have this angle here. And we talked about at the beginning of the video, since I'm dealing with two parallel lines here, I know that these alternate interior angles, they're going to be equal. So if I simply just set these two angles equal to each other, I can solve for x, and that will give me my answer. So again, here's my angle right here, 182 minus 3x. So if I have 182 minus 3x, I'm going to set that equal to x plus 30. Right? And now all we want to do is go ahead and solve for x. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to add... 3x on both sides. This will cancel here. And let's go ahead and minus 30 on both sides. Again, this will cancel here. So let's bring down our values here. So we have 182 minus 30. We know that that's going to give us 152. So we get 152 equal to an x plus a 3x will give us 4x. Now our last step, we simply just want to divide by 4 here. So divide by 4, so we get x equals 152 all over 4. So we know here if we do 152 divided by 4, we're going to get 38. So x is going to be equal to 38. And that is going to be our final answer. All right, and that is it.